To service or replace the seals, begin by removing the manifold. Using a 5mm Allen wrench, remove the 6 hex socket head manifold bolts. To separate the manifold from the crankcase, place a flat tip screwdriver between the crankcase and manifold above the seal retainer and pry away. Ensure the manifold is supported to avoid damage to the plungers. Place the manifold onto a flat surface with the low pressure seals facing up. To remove the low pressure seal, place a flat tip screwdriver under the seal lip and pry away from the manifold. Use caution not to damage the sealing surface of the seal case during removal. Inspect the inner and outer diameter of the low pressure seal for excessive wear or damage. Next. Remove the seal case using a reverse pliers. The larger diameter surface is where the low pressure seal seats. Ensure you grasp the second step surface to avoid damaging the seal case. Use a twisting motion while pulling away from the manifold to remove. Inspect the seal case o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage. Also inspect the surface where the low pressure seal seats for damage. Inspect the high pressure surface side of the seal case for damage. To remove the high pressure seal, place a flat tip screwdriver beneath the seal lip and pry away from the manifold. Inspect the high pressure seal inside and outside diameters for excessive wear or damage. Before reinstalling the seals, check the manifold for any signs of damage. To install your seal kit, begin with the high pressure seal. You will notice that one side of the seal has a groove. Insert the high pressure seal with the groove side facing down into the manifold and press into place. After replacing the seal case o-ring provided in the seal kit, lubricate the outside diameter and press into place. Next, install the low pressure seal. You will notice that one side has a groove. Place into the seal case with the groove side down and press into place. Before installing the manifold, you must first replace the seal washer included in the seal kit. Begin by removing the nylon seal retainer using a small pick. You will notice the seal retainer has two tabs. They rest into the grooves on the crankcase when installing. The notches on the bottom allow fluid to escape before reaching the crankcase. Next, remove the plunger assembly using a 10 mm wrench. After removing the plunger, inspect the plunger for any cracks, scores, or other damage. Remove the seal washer and replace with the new one provided in the kit. To reassemble, begin with the plunger and plunger retainer. You will notice that one side of the plunger has a step and the other side is flat. Install the plunger retainer on the flat side of the plunger. Apply liquid thread seal into the threads of the plunger retainer and thread onto the plunger rod. Use a 10 mm hex wrench and tighten to specification. Install the seal retainers with the tabs lining up with the grooves in the crankcase. For ease of assembly, rotate the pump shaft so the two outside plungers are at their furthest equal point. Install the manifold and press into place.
Install the six hex socket head bolts and using a five millimeter Allen wrench, tighten using the proper sequence. Torque to specification.